Hey everyone, this is Elias from Refmatch Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2024 Genesis G70. Now, this is kind of like if you've grown up a little bit, but you're still youthful and want to have some fun. Yeah, this is the car you want to get. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get started. We get started in front and this thing is amazing. Yes, the clearly obvious thing is the color. The Kawa blue, it just out of this world amazing. It reminds me of the 1999 uh, Honda Civic Si, like that electron blue kind of look to it. It just looks really, really good. I love this color and it was getting everyone's attention for the obvious reason that it just looks great. And let's take a look at some of the things in the front. We have the headlights. I do love the fact that we have the split design here. It just looks cool. It's different. It's, you know, bold. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you for giving your designers the freedom to really have some fun with their design. And I bet they love their job. And they do a good job at it too. Then we have the grill in the crest shape. And I love the color to it. We have that black chrome that shines really well. Uh, kind of gives you a bluish greenish colors sometimes depending on, on what light it's reflecting, but looks great. At the bottom, we do have a little bit of some opening for the uh, cooling of the engine. On the sides, unfortunately though, those guys are gonna be blocked off. They're not really, yeah, there's nothing to kind of go through there. Um, but overall though, I love this front end. Yeah, <sighs> man, I really want one. And what makes me want one even more? What's under this hood. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We get under the hood and we have the 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 cranking out 365 horsepower and 379 pound feet of torque. It is connected to the eight speed auto and then to the rear wheels. Now, a couple of things with this. Yes, there is an all wheel drive model. No, I don't want to drive it <laughs> because, uh, okay, let's start with the engine. The power, it's on. It's on whenever you want it to. There's no issues with turbo lag. It just wants to go. It is really nice to drive. I love the sounds. It just, it's spectacular. It really is that damn good. Yeah. Then the transmission, love the shifts. Super calm when you need them to. Really aggressive when you need them to be as well. No issues with that as well. Yeah, everything is just spectacular with those two things. Then we get the power to the rear wheels. And that's where I don't want them to go to all four wheels because this car is way too much fun. Yeah, remember when I said you don't want to necessarily grow up, uh, but you still want to be a grown up? <laughs> yeah. That, the rear, the fact that we're getting the power to the rear only is the you don't want to grow up part because it's just that damn good. That rear differential is incredible in mid cornering and getting the power down and just, yeah, you can kind of get it to slide a little bit. Uh, if you have traction control on, it's really good at making sure you're nice and safe. So it's not too aggressive. It's not too lazy, so to speak. But the reason why I don't want this to be all wheel drive is because I think it will kill that. Um, I don't know if that fun aspect to it, it's going to be more tame because obviously it's going to be more controlled in delivering. So I don't know if I want to drive the whole wheel drive model, but the rear wheel drive model, it's fun. And again, if you need it to be calm, it can be when you put it in sport or sport plus mode. Yeah, be ready to have a blast in this thing. It is such a great setup. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have this nice 19 inch wheel and it is wrapped in the 225 40 in the front and 255 35 in the rear. And they're the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tire. Now, a couple of things with this. As far as the wheel design, I like it. I love the fact that we have a combination of some of the polished faces and some of the painted faces. And it's a really nice color, especially against the blue. It, it, it's really nice. It, it fits really well. One thing I'm looking at this though, I'm kind of surprised that the tire looks a little stretched uh, on this wheel. Uh, so we do kind of have the, the sidewall kind of sticks out a little bit, but don't worry about it. Performance wise, ride quality, 
no issues there and the suspension is really great so don't expect cloud nine kind of just floating feel to it you're not going to get that you know luxury as much as you would with say like the g80 this you're going to get more of the sporty feel but it's not harsh which is great uh, with the suspension spectacular with the wheel and tire you're gonna get grip you're gonna get controlled grip as well that i think yeah let's let's label it as controlled grip because you can kind of get this guy a little bit sideways but you're gonna be in full control and that rear diff is just spectacular uh, to get you rotated really really well the brakes awesome love them nice red caliper they have a good pedal feel they perform well I, I just love this thing. I really, really love this thing. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the side. We get to the side and we can see it's very simple. So there's nothing that really stands out of place in the bad way and maybe not super in the good way or like, whoa, this is kind of cool. It's fine. I, I like it. It's very Audi side profile yeah <laughs> which is good it's a good compliment but there are some cool little things here and there but yeah we take a look at the front and we have the headlights that kind of peek over we have the nice 19 inch wheels with the staggered setup which you can see look right with the size of the proportions of the vehicle so yeah i, I think 19 is the way to go we do have the little vent down there which is actually functional so nice to have that uh, but yeah as far as like the side it's more of a kind of sculptured line as opposed to the more chiseled line. So the only kind of defined line we get here, and it's a little bit on the soft side, but yeah, I mean, the side profiles is good. We have big doors to get in. We have kind of a truncated rear on there. We do have kind of a bulging uh, rear fender there, which looks good. But overall though, it's nice. Again, not super wow but not bad, really. So I do have my uh, key fob in my pocket, so I'll go ahead and grab the door. It unlocks, has a sensor. I can go ahead and open and I hop in. Give that a close, go ahead and lock it. And now, yeah, don't have a sensor in the back. So you kind of got to want to do this and then you can just open up the back. Um, but yeah, big doors, no complaints there as far as getting in looks great on the side and that's kind of what you get so let's go ahead and see what we have in the back we get to the back and i love a lot of the design we get in the rear of the g70 so first we start with this trunk and this looks really cool because we have kind of a smooth or soft uh duck tail which I'm always a big fan of, uh, but it's just ever so subtle. And it's not something that is additionally tacked on or anything. That is the line of the trunk lid. So it just looks good. It really does. It really is a great design. And then we get to the taillights and these things are awesome. I love the fact that again, we get that split design uh, like we do with the headlights. So we follow that design language back here and it looks good. So we have that. Then we have the nice Genesis badging. We have the G70 badge. And with this being the 3.3 uh, turbo, we can get that as well. This is probably where this bottom part, where it kind of looks like an afterthought. I don't know. I, I wish something else could have been done to this, um, but at least they didn't make it the same color, which would probably have not looked as good. And then we have the exhaust tips that are not this. They're actually in here. Yeah, so we do get two, two exhaust tips on each side. They're squared off. They don't look nice. That's why they're really in there and we get this faux tip out here. So yeah, I wish they were connected because that design looks really cool. But overall though, that's kind of what you get with the rear. When we take a look at the trunk area, if we get close enough with the key fob without even touching it, we have it programmed that it will automatically open up, which has been great when I've had all my camera gear in my hands and I didn't want to press that little button that's there. But we get in and there's, not too bad of a space there's a good amount of space there's a good amount of depth to it uh you know going back or towards the the seat but as far as depth in the 
you know, kind of height, there's not much. So just be aware, unfortunately, with sedans, this is always kind of the dilemma of that rear part right there, which doesn't allow you to have a big box. Um, but it does have this nice netting, which is good. Um, it does nicely cover up the uh, kind of the hinge that you get for the uh, trunk area. But yeah, overall though, I'm pretty impressed with the size. It, it fit everything that we needed to for the week. But that's kind of what you get. And then just a matter of pushing it and it closes a little slowly, but it does close. We open up the door and we have this nice finish. So a couple of things. So we do have a softer, kind of harder plastic up here, uh, which is good. Kind of feels like foam. Uh, been fine with kind of getting my arm rested there. No issues. We have the saving seats for two settings. We have the Lexicon uh, speaker system, which is just really, really good. Uh, I'm surprised that a factory system can hit those low notes so hard. So loving that. We have the kind of mid-range there and we have the bigger mid-range here because it's kind of, yeah, we have a good amount of speakers. And yeah, then we have the beautiful kind of white uh, leather there that is just, so nice. The materials on this are unbelievable. The finish looks great. We have nice brushed controls there. We have an area for a cup right in there. It's just really nice. Now, there's not much space for anything else, but yeah, you get your water bottle there. You get to the seats and these things are spectacular. They look and feel so nice. I love the finish to them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of white, but these things just work. And the adjustability is incredible. There's tons of ways that you can adjust to get your sweet spot. And one of my favorite things is the fact that when you put it in sport mode, the side bolsters will go ahead and tighten up a little bit. The other favorite thing I have is this. So if you need the extra space, because maybe your kiddo in the back said says mom left the uh, front seat kind of a little bit back we can go ahead and move that forward or if an adult decides to sit back there uh, i can move it here and not have to open up the passenger side and then move the seat there or if i have cargo stuff that i want to put there uh, in the back it just makes things a lot easier to kind of deal with but yeah that's kind of what you get with the seats including heated and vented options because it's really hot and they were great in this hot weather we had this week. We take a look at the steering wheel and this thing is really nice. I love the shape to it. So a couple of things, as far as the grabbing areas on the sides, we do get that dimpled leather that looks really, really nice and feels really, really nice as well. Then we get the softer leather on the top and the bottom areas, which just are top notch with this. And yeah, we get a little bit of a contrasting stitching there to match the seats. But yeah, this the feel of this thing is incredible. The feedback we get from it is incredible. Nice Genesis crest there with the wings and the stitching on here, the finishes, the buttons. So on the left hand side, we have kind of like your cruise control and your gauge cluster set uh, settings or adjustments there. And then on the right side, we get all the controls for the infotainment system as far as volume up, next track and so on. But Overall though, this thing was really nice to, to play around with and feel, and as well as the paddle shifters to, you know, when you wanna put this guy in a pseudo manual mode, which yeah, unfortunately we don't have a true one, but we'll talk about that later. We take a look at the gauge cluster and on the left-hand side, we're gonna have the analog speedometer on the middle, we're gonna have a digital screen. And on the right hand side, we're going to have a digital tachometer. Now, a couple of things with this. I kind of wish it were just all digital. The gauge on the left is okay, but you know, the reason why is because when you turn your turn signal on, it turns on the camera on the right side when I'm turning right. But when I go to turn left, it turns the left camera on on the right side of the gauge cluster, which I'm used to with other Genesis slash Kia slash Hyundai vehicles that have that option. Typically it's all digital display. So yeah, this is a little bit 
kind of I kept keeping I kept putting my eye on the left gauge thinking it was going to go ahead and show me the screen when I did the left turn signal so yeah just a little bit of a thing but yeah in the middle nitpicking really in the middle we have just kind of your different settings so right now I do have oil torque and the turbo PSI there that's really been the most exciting thing we do have you know current trip fuel that stuff yeah um, tire pressure easy to get to really engine temperature and that's really been it nothing really wow about this uh, as far as that but it's fun as far as additional options that what we have here oil temp torque and turbo that has been the wow factor and then uh, you know when I go to switch the uh, drive modes we get a little bit of a change with the sport and then yeah the sport just does that but yeah we get that red line to visually see the other thing that's kind of you kind of have to get used to is the fact that we have the uh, tachometer that goes counterclockwise so yeah <laughs> that, that that took a little bit to kind of get used to uh with the shifts even though this thing shifts in nor in manual mode for you yeah that's not what i wanted to do but that's pretty much for the gauge cluster we get over to the infotainment screen and it's nice i like the size of it i like the positioning of it where it's kind of out of the way of your site so love that it's apple carplay don't like the fact that it's wired apple carplay so yeah i that needs to really be updated especially since there's not much storage space in this uh g70 so which we'll kind of discuss but yeah other than that though it's done its job no complaints other than yeah i wish it were a wireless system we come back down and we have some of the quick buttons for different sections of the infotainment system which i love because they're shortcuts that i don't have to really kind of navigate or get things around so i can just kind of switch to radio if i wanted to kind of show me the radio there um, or i can go back to my media if i wanted to show me my apple carplay and navigation and map as well so love the fact that we still have these buttons and they're quick to get to and obviously you can go next track and previous track there and be completely in something else you can have the map up and then just switch to that which is really good um, to have then we come back to the uh climate system and this thing has been incredible i love this thing um auto has been pretty much on the whole time and auto 2 uh, because you have different levels of how aggressive you want the fan to be in auto so loving that two seems to be the sweet spot three when you get in the car and it's 90 degrees you're gonna want to hit it to three but then ease it into uh two then we have our cooling for the seats and for uh the heated option which we're not going to use not sure why the heated steering wheel is on but we do get that uh which yeah when it gets cold i'm gonna enjoy that but very simple even though it's very high tech looking very simple to use which is very difficult to kind of accomplish nowadays for brands for some reason we come down here and we have the 12 volt adapter right in there we have a usb connection and we have the indicator for the wireless charger yeah it's kind of useless for me to use the wireless charging because of the fact that i still need to plug in for wireless for apple carplay so the chuck test is pretty much irrelevant and it probably wouldn't have worked anyways so yeah that's kind of my gripe with this because again there's not going to be much storage so just kind of have that cable right in there for that and that's what you get with that we come back and we have the shifter which is really nice um, no complaints as far as the feel to it uh, only complaint is we don't have that manual mode uh, you can activate it with the paddle shifters but it's still going to automatically shift for you so it will still hold it won't hold the gear it will go to the next one um, but yeah there's really no no issues with it it no complaints it's it is what it is kind of thing then we come back for the drive modes which we went ahead and took a look at those we have the traction control off and then we have the parking camera system which has been really nice to have it's been really clear no issues with it love the way that it 
it looks and yeah if we go into the front or if we're reversing we have those options there but overall though really good system and then we have the auto hold which has been great and parking assist there and the electronic parking brake there the cup holders cup holders are nice except that if you i had a cup with a handle and i couldn't kind of yeah put it on there so i had to kind of have it hanging off to the side there but other than that though it's been pretty good you know good use of big big cups as well so that's not a problem because we have that separation here then we get to the armrest and it's nice and comfortable when you open it up though it's kind of tiny so just be aware there's another connection for USB-C so if your devices have USB-C um, but other than that though yeah there's a little bit of a storage issue uh, with the G70 inside which is kind of why I really would have liked to have that wireless Apple CarPlay so I didn't have to deal with the cable or anything uh, there but that's kind of what you get in the G70 we open up the back seat and this thing looks really great again we have some great finishes we have the uh, speaker which I wish we had a little bit more of a design maybe that aluminum kind of finish to it uh, to just give it more life and then we have the small tweeter right in there the seats in the back are really comfortable my kid was loving it this week uh, with these guys and no issues with really his his seat uh, what I do like about this is when we go to adjust it for the ISO fix, it is kind of on a spring kind of thing. So just a matter of opening that up and putting your hook up right in there. And when you're not using it, it's nice and covered, but we don't have a piece, you know, where you have to take it off and lose it. And then we have a nasty hole there. So loving that. And then like his favorite, he says he has his hidden cup holders here. They're not that big, so they're not as big, or at least they don't look as big uh, as the front one. So just be aware, bigger cups may not fit in here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you get with the rear. When we go for a ride in the G70, it's super nice. Now, don't expect super plush. That's what the big boy Genesis is for. And that's gonna give you that super cloudy, feel on the ride like you're just in heaven literally um this is going to be a little bit sportier so you're going to feel a little bit more things even in the comfort mode um and it's perfectly fine though because it's gonna feel great <laughs> you're gonna feel what's on the road so let's go ahead and we'll take off and like i said we're gonna feel a little bit of the of the bumps here in this little bumpy area um but it's fine again we're just getting some great feedback sort of sport you know sports car feel to it and the other thing though is that it's still going to feel comfortable it's not going to be overly stiff but it's also not going to be overly plush so it's just right and that's what this g70 has been so surprisingly good at is it just fits you know if you're looking for that sports car but feel and you want to grow up a little bit, look a little bit more adult, <laughs> I think this kind of fits that bill because you have that, you know, luxury look to it on the inside and on the outside too, even though we are a little bit on the sporty side looking as well, and we have some cool little designs uh, with that front end, things like that, it still looks luxurious and it feels luxurious. And I can just relax too, just, drive on an open road and enjoy it but also get to relax that's the big thing you can really relax in this but you can also have fun in this which is what makes this genesis so damn good it really is now there was something that i really loved about the genesis when we were on the highway and you let off the throttle it will actually go into like a cruise mode where it feels like let's see if we can activate it with a little bit more speed here um but it basically because i'm in eco mode it like decouples the transmission from the engine so it doesn't engine brake uh let me get a little bit more speed so i can get that um but it, it decouples the engine and now it's just kind of cruising and it doesn't slow down the car as much so basically 
you save on MPGs, which was really nice to have. And you didn't really feel it kind of decoupling and or, or dis it almost feels like it's disconnecting from or putting it in neutral think of it like that kind of putting it in neutral you'll see the rpm drop down but the crazy thing about it is that it will uh you won't feel it in the sense of it disconnecting but you'll feel like you're still kind of going at a same speed like if you're maintaining but you're not putting any gas input so yeah that was kind of nice so what we're gonna go ahead and do is switch it over to sport mode and uh let's have some fun now the one thing though that is kind of a shame is that there is no manual mode so i am having to put my uh kind of put the gear selection with the paddles and that kind of puts it in manual mode <laughs> and boy does it go i just wish you know it, it went back into like a true manual mode like stay there kind of thing but <laughs> oh this thing is so good the brakes are good those yeah <laughs> those rear tires are working and they are enjoying the time because that rear slip differential limited slip differential is so good it just gets the power down and mid corner it's spectacular this thing is a blast to drive the brakes are good as well you can really hammer on them and the pedal feedback is really really good it's just yeah <laughs> tracking control got me a little bit there it's just such a blast to drive this thing is incredible i forgot how much fun this g70 was because i had the rear wheel drive and it kind of almost makes me scared to drive the all-wheel drive because the way that the rear behaves is so good in this but let's go ahead and see how how good it is with the three-point turn and we have that nice 360 degree camera system it's super clear love the way that that looks and yeah we're pretty good no issues with that yeah actually it's a really good turning radius for this so we set up the race box and love this thing awesome telemetry device and if you want one take a look at the description below i'll go ahead and add my affiliate code and uh you may have a little bit of a discount so we've gone ahead and set it up and i'm gonna go ahead and hold the brake we're in sport mode hold down the gas load it up and away we go <laughs> wow um that is incredible feels great so 0 to 30 in 1.8 seconds and 0 to 60 in 4.74 seconds yeah that's crazy and uh yeah again i just wish the transmission had a true manual mode because even though i activate it with the with the paddle shifters it will automatically shift for me but it is so good at just getting <laughs> the power down in such a controlled way and yeah this thing can really go now i don't put it in sport plus mode because sport plus will take away the traction control and uh let's just say we're activating the traction control a lot here but this thing is just so good <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot how much of a blast this G70 is. And that's, you know, that's what I want to talk to you guys about. This thing, again, it's like you don't, you don't want to grow up yet. You're still having fun. So we'll go ahead and go back to eco mode. You, you haven't grown up fully. <laughs> you haven't grown up fully, but you still got to go to your office job. You still got to wear a suit but you still want to have some fun that's what the g70 is all about if you're done with having fun go up to like the g80 so you can just kind of relax chill out enjoy the ride maybe even get driven in it but 
not with this. <laughs> if you want, if you want the drive, if you want to be engaged, if you want to, yeah, just have fun. Be a, be a kid. Be a kid again. This is what you want. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy my review of the Genesis G70. And remember, find the right gear. See ya.